How's it going guys, it's Arrows. Today we're going to be taking a look at whether or not you can make dark and light look good and get better performance. Disclaimer, this still is early access. There's going to be bugs, there's going to be issues. This will not fix everything, it might not fix nothing. This is just a test. The system I'm running this on is a 6700K overclocked to 4.5 GHz, a GTX 1080, and on 16 GB of RAM. Your system might not match mine, so I'm going to have different performance numbers than you will. Let's start this off by looking at the pre-made settings. As you can see in the top corner, I'm running about 95 to 100 frames per second. Most of the quality looks fairly low, it's the lowest setting, the trees don't look that great, your view distance isn't so well, and your houses look kind of run down. Going on to the medium setting, you average about 64-65 frames per second, which is a pretty significant drop from the 95 to 100 I was getting. But things look a little nicer, your columns look a little bit nicer, your houses look nicer, your trees, view distance still isn't great. Moving on to the high setting, we're still getting about the same 50 to 60 frames per second as we were on medium, which is weird because on the high setting everything looks a lot nicer. It's a lot crisper, a lot cleaner looking, and your view distance is quite a bit better. And you look at the island over the top, you can actually see a good chunk of it versus before it was fairly faded. Moving into the epic setting, this is by far the best, but it's also the biggest performance hit. Running at about 40, 42 frames per second, everything looks crisp, clean, as you would expect it to for an epic setting, but you take the frame rate hit to begin with. All these tests were ran on a 1440p by 144Hz monitor, so if for some reason you have a GTX 1080 and a 1080p monitor, you should have no issues running this game in epic settings. For those people who do have issues, there's a few forms posts of how to fix it, so let's get into those. Let's start off by trying to fix some of the performance issues. On this screen I have clips from two different forms posts. First off, I would like to give credit to Misfit and Tokens, for their hard work on trying to get this game to work properly and perform well and look good. Starting off is, we'll start with Tokens. He was a forum post I found when I was having issues with my frame rates and different things of that nature. So what you're going to do is go to the Steam library, right click on Dark and Light, click on Properties. From Properties, you want to hit Set Launch Options. And then when you go from there, you want to enter the keywords or phrases that are given in the text that I'll put in the description box and that are displayed on the screen. You can start by putting all of the different keywords into the launch options box or you can put them in one by one and see if a specific one helps you more than others. If you have problems and all of them are in the box or you start having issues with some of them, start deleting a few of them out one at a time and see if that fixes your issues. Up next is Misfits Post. As you can see in the title, Trailer Quality Graphics, HDR Activation, and Arc Key Bindings. We'll leave the Arc Key Bindings for a different video as I have yet to have a chance to play around with them and this video is more focused on the performance and the quality. This post's main focus is how to get the best quality graphics with the lowest performance hit. He explains many different things in this post from whether HDR is activated when you click the button or not, which it is not, you have to manually go in and activate it, along with a, two scripts of how to improve the quality of the game. One is a quality and performance focused one, while the other one is mainly quality. And you'll take a bigger performance hit, but the game should look nicer. So let's get into detail and see what those look like. First thing we need to do is add the scripts to the game files. So what you're going to do is open up your Steam on your hard drive, find your Steam apps, under Steam apps you want to select the dark and light folder, from the dark and light folder you want to go to your DNL folder, your DNL folder you want to go to saved, config, and under config you will find Windows No Editor. From Windows No Editor you want to go to the game user settings. Once you're under the game user settings folder you want to copy and paste whichever one of the scripts you would prefer, the quality and performance or just the quality. Once you've pasted the settings into the folder, be sure to save it. After that, close it out and open up the game and we'll see if there's any quality improvements. If you're running a screen bigger than 1080p, one of the first things you might run into when you open the game is your background doesn't look quite right. When you try to click the play online, the host, local, or settings or exit button, it won't do nothing. But if you move your mouse over to the side, you'll hear the noises like you're highlighting them, but there'll be nothing there. The problem is, is the resolution is set to 1080p, and if you're running a larger screen like I am with a 1440p, it's not picking up proper resolution. It's an easy fix, and as he states in the forum post, it's set to 1080p resolution. You'll have to manually go in and change it. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. So what you want to do is go back into the game user settings file in the notepad and change the resolution size X and resolution size Y to your proper screen resolution. For 1440 it's 2560 by 1440. 
If you're running a 4K monitor, you'll have to look up the specs for that, as I don't know that off the top of my head. It's an easy fix. Punch those in, save it, and open the game again, and it should look normal again. After changing your resolution, or if the resolution was correct the first time, the game should open properly. It may look a little different in the background, as I will have a red glow on the throne, and there'll be a little bit more detail. But that's normal after you change the script, so let's get into playing the game. Once getting into the game, you'll notice one thing right off the bat. There's a lot more shadows, they're a lot darker, and they're a lot deeper. But you may also notice something else. Your toolbar doesn't look quite right. The only thing on my toolbar showing is my bow and arrow, my lightning spell, my flower, my blueberry. Everything else is transparent and just shows the textures of the ground, not the textures of the tools or the weapons themselves. This appears to be a bug in the script, because if I go into my settings manually and turn it to high, low, medium, or epic, the toolbar comes out properly again. So that's something I'll have to address on the forum post to see if there's a fix for this or if it's something he can update and if, or if I'm the only one having this issue. It might be something on my end alone. This setting is the quality and performance setting. So its hope is to give you better performance while still giving you a pretty good looking game. Up next is the quality setting and we'll see what that looks like. As with the performance setting, as you can see, the shadows look a lot darker. Things look a lot nicer and crisper in this setting. The trees, the graphics themselves are a lot cleaner looking but you still have the bug in the toolbar. Once again, this is something I'm going to bring up in the form post to see if it's something that can be changed or if it's just on my end. But performance-wise, it runs about the same as if you hit your epic settings, but with darker shadows and your toolbar is missing things. So overall, is there really a way to make the game look better and run good? The answer is no. This game still needs some optimization in pretty much every aspect. The graphics still could use a little bit more polish. And there's no real way to fix it at the moment. Yes, there's a few workarounds. If you want a game that looks very cinematic, but you sacrifice maybe having a bugged out toolbar, that's a thing. Or you can try the launch options option, which may help you, it might not. Some people say it helps, some people don't. It really depends on your situation and the problems that you currently have. So if you're looking for the overall best performance, low setting is where it's at. Your graphics don't look very good, but you should be fairly lag free aside from the rubber banding and other server issues but it won't be a lag from your computer. If you want a game that looks good, I suggest the high settings. There's not that much different between high and epic, and you maintain a fairly decent frame rate. When switching to epic, your frame rate takes a pretty big hit from high, so it may not be the best option. I'll put links in the descriptions to the forum posts for, that I were using in this video, so you can get the scripts or try the different launch options. The best thing you can currently do is play around with the settings, Try different launch options, and you can also try the scripts to see if you can make your game look better. It might work for you, but it didn't work for me. If you like my Dark and Light content, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment telling me if this worked for you, or if you found a way to make the game perform better or look better. As always, this is Eros, and I'll see you in the next video.